What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be upgrading my wife's light bar on her Outlander going from a 12 inch to a 20 inch. Let's go. Right, guys this is the 12 inch z moon single row compared to the 20 inch dual row light bar you can definitely tell the difference i will drop a link to my review on this light bar above now so go ahead and watch that this is a great light bar uh, i have it on my renegade i love it however this wasn't bright enough for my wife All right guys, let's go ahead and snatch this 12 inch light bar off. Let's get into it. All right guys, so one thing that's nice about this kit is it already comes basically with a, a uh, wiring harness already built in with a switch and also with all your connectors and everything, which is real nice. I had to make my own, so this is a nice little touch. So we're gonna go ahead and get this installed real quick and I'll catch back up with you in a few. Hey guys, so one of the things you can see is I end up using some shorter screws because this is the screw that came with the kit and now that's not the best angle, but you can basically see that it's too long. And so, at least for me, and then also if I flipped it, if I flipped it up, it was still hitting this. And so you weren't getting the full travel out of the light. But basically the next steps guys is we're gonna put the cover back on make sure that fits with the wiring the way i want it i want to kind of tuck it up in here compared to running around not really a big deal but and then we're going to electrical tape these together real quick and then start zip tying our way from up there to the bike work our way back put our switch in there and then we'll call it a day so let's go ahead and finish this up All right, guys, went ahead and got, let me see if I can get you guys in there. Got it all zip tied right there, runs down here, and then down there, through it, through there with the wire loom, zip tied up here, run, and then cut it up in through here. The switch all wired up, boom. My only complaint about this kit is they give you so much slack, which, Normally is a good thing, but on these ATVs, there's just nowhere to put the slack. So this, it looks like, I don't know why my son's standing right in front of me. When I tell you it's bright, this is with no headlights on. So, that's with headlights and that's with highs. Highs. Headlights off. It's actually, I think it's angled properly. It's not overly blinding, but it's it's definitely bright, guys. It's a little bit wider spread because if I remember correctly, the, the Z Moon only went to there. You might not be able to see on a camera because it's not really showing up well, but it's actually going all the way over there. So you're able to see, I think the Z Moon went from there, but you can see, I can see all the way over there to the right 
and then it's also lighting up the house up here is bright right here that's 15 feet that's probably another you know where the light bar is at almost half so maybe five feet so that's at least 20 feet right here that you can clear as day see and then you have a whole nother slab right here that you can see on top of seeing this one another day hang out with your boy pa catch you on the next one peace